That attorney, Francis Scott Key, was also an amateur poet, and he was inspired to write the defense of Fort McHenry, the first stanza of which became our national anthem. Ladies and gentlemen, wherever you are within the sound of my voice, I'd ask that you stop what you're doing, stand, remove your caps. If you're in uniform, please come to attention as we honor our flag, honor our country, and honor the men and women who serve under that flag as we sing our national anthem. With a 2,500 square foot American flag, very much like the flag that flew over Fort McHenry, how about a huge round of applause for the E-Team Skydivers as they bring this flag into show center right on target from a mile high. Well, there you have it. The flag has been retrieved. Paul McCowan's E-Team Skydivers have been around for a number of years. And 46,000 jumps. How about a big round of applause for the Skydivers? The e I want to say a great big thank you.
McKenzie in 708 and Phil Webb in number 42. Now the white one that's close to us is actually modified as were many of these airplanes after World War II because they became suitable for for the instructor sitting in the back seat of this open cockpit biplane to communicate with a student in the front. They have them, but sometimes those ground looks got pretty severe. Primary training with its 12-week course at the beginning of the war as more and more pilots were needed throughout World War II from 1941 to 1945, that time was shortened to 10 and then to 9 weeks. Same with basic training, and then the same with advanced training, with the most complex trainers being used. And we're going to see some of those with the Geico Sky Typers today. The North American AT-6 Texan, or the SNJ as the Navy called it. I had my numbers messed up here a little bit ago, but the SNJ, S for Navy. Thanks to Kerry Harden and Judge John Hodgson, John Reddick, Julie Thomas, Roy Kingsley, and Phil Webb. Right over your left shoulder, watch him as he dives in. professional can receive the International Council of Air Show and Sir
have a special airplane to do that, right? It does need to be reasonably strong. <laughs> yeah, the Ace 540 is pretty good for you, isn't it? I think that, uh, well, both can load 21 Gs, so it does exceed what I'm ever going to do. Indeed. Man, oh man. Okay, what's coming up next? All right, well, I'm going to turn around, so I'll do a, a kind of small loop. I'll just pull stall here and ride around and bump and then I'll come back. I'll show you that. I'll put it on a ballistic car, roll inverted, and then uh, right, right. Stick those cars to the right and a bunch of right rudder. All right, here's the centrifuge. Hard right, stick to the forward, and all right rudder. Man, I wish I had my mother-in-law up there. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure it would be. What's next?
coming up. He will have one more flight today, Lou Carrico, and he's going to team up with two of his big buddies here on the circuit, both of whom are performing here today. Indeed, so later on in the show, we are going to see something they call the thrice as they go up and combine the talents and the professionalism of Matt Chapman, Bill Stein, and Rob Holland as they take to the skies an incredible three-ship performance. But right now we watch as Matt Chapman flies way up high where Marilyn Monroe lives <laughs> as he goes up, runs out of airspeed, putting it into an upright spin, cap it off on the top and pull it right back down towards the ground. This guy has proven himself not only as a great professional and a tremendous competition pilot, but the kind of guy you want to be around all the time. He's going to make his buzz of the tower. And we've got... Let's see the other side, Matt! champion and five will be flying the beautiful sky typers fan pass Thank you to Mediacom, your local TV, internet, and phone provider. 